hello 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 and welcome to my channel my name is Charmaine and if this is your first time watching welcome thanks for visiting if it's not your first time welcome back y'all y'all already know what it is y'all know I love Canva okay Canva you can do so many things with Canva I have so many different videos on Canva and they're not really videos of something I already showed you about Canva because there's so much you can learn from Canva every video that I've posted on my YouTube channel is different it's different and it gives you more ways to be creative in Canva okay so today we are about to look at different things in Canva that I have never showed y'all before um the apps and some things you can um do with some apps okay you have to have pro with this Canva Pro, okay? It is a fee for Canva Pro. So just go to um, my link below. Uh, you can try Canva out for 30 days. And then um, the link, um, then it'll basically show you how to go ahead and start um, using Canva for, like if you wanna go, if you wanna upgrade, I'm sorry, if you wanna upgrade, you can go ahead and upgrade. But um, there's different, um, different levels of Canva. But I have the pro level, which is the most expensive. I think like twenty dollars a month. You can always cancel when you want to. You can go always go back to the lower um, version if you want to. But I do so many things with Canva, so I'm sticking to it until I, until I, you know, until I figure it out. I also um I did a video, an animated video on Canva. So watch, check out that video. Okay, I do all kind of things with Canva. Business cards. I do calendars, journals. Check those videos out. Um, I I design my T-shirts for my business with Canva. Like I said, I do journals, calendars, planners, um, t-shirts, mugs. I do everything in Canva, y'all. I love it, okay? Uh, even mock-ups in Canva. I do my, my, my business cards, my, um, I just did my, let me show you. What did I just do? Oh, for my, I have an Amazon store now. So I even did my little Amazon store, um, I just created, created, ooh, I just created this the other day, Okay. So you could do two, and then it also tells you the size you need. So this is for um Amazon store. So it'll tell you what size you need for it to put your logo up for your Amazon store. Okay. Alrighty, let's go back. I got this picture from if y'all know about the AI, it's a it generate pictures for you. So I um I have videos showing you out there too. Um, and I generated this picture. I said I wanted a lady sitting um in an office in front of a couch with the word planner on the wall with a phone and a, and a journal so this is what i said and when i put that in it generated this photo for me okay canva also has ai in here so i'm gonna show y'all that in a minute but um this the uh, ai regular ais are is more um it has a lot more features in it okay but this canva is 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 kind of getting there but i'll show y'all that in a minute too so let's let's see i don't want this picture I'm going to try this picture, y'all. That's something I want to do on this picture. Okay, so I got this from AI too. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Edit, Photo. And then what I'm going to do is go to the Magic Eraser. Okay? The Magic Eraser, I just clicked on that. And you can choose the size of your brush. Okay, so right now my brush is this big. It's a circle. I want to make it bigger. I go ahead and make it bigger. And here it is. So look, I'm going to just erase this because I don't want this journal here. If I don't want this journal here, I'm going to go ahead and erase this. Cause you can, it's just so crazy in, in um Canva. You can just erase words out of things or things that you don't want elements you in the picture you don't want. Or you can re, you can remove the whole background. So right now I just want to show you how to erase things out the picture. Ain't that cool, y'all? Isn't that cool? Okay, so now I'll make the brush a little smaller. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um erase this phone because I want the phone in here. And you, I mean you can get images anywhere. You can get images off of Google, <laughs> and it's crazy to say that, but yeah, you get images off of Google and you can erase things. Okay, it is crazy. Uh, it's, this feature is just amazing because sometimes most of these uh, image, most of these you just can have to delete the whole background. And now, like if, a lot of people on my in my um group, it's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket on Facebook. A lot of people always saying, "Can you please erase this or can you please fix this so I can put angel wings on the back of my loved one that has these has um passed away?" And now you can come to Canva and do it yourself for free instead of charging people or either trying to look for people to do things for you. Come to Canva. Canva can do whatever you want. So if I had somebody that um. I'll show you that in a minute, but um, look, I don't want this necklace on her on her um neck, so I just take this off like this. Look at that, y'all, and it's gone. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so then 
Okay, let me go ahead back to edit photo. And what if you don't want the background? If you want if you just want her, I'm gonna leave that background here. But look, see how this cup is not is is it's there, but it's not there. It's halfway there. So let's go back to edit. And let's go to magic expand. And I'm gonna say whole page right here. And I'm gonna say magic expand. Take a little while for it to get it together. And now look what we see here, y'all. I'm gonna just click on the pictures right here and it's gonna pop up right here on my screen. We can just see how they look. I'm waiting for this last one to come up. Okay, so now you have a cup, half of the cup. The other cup, the first one we had, it was like halfway there, okay? And then you have, you can see how it looks now? You see the cup there? So you can find the image you want, okay, instead of having, because basically the first time the cup was halfway there and they just made it a little bit more, put the little, a little bit more of the cup in the picture, okay? Let's see which one. I like that one. I like that one too. That one, I don't like that one. That one, I don't like. So I'll probably choose this one and see how they even fix, finish the couch out for you. Did they, did they have the couch? In, or they already just makes different designs for the couch, okay? So you see that? Okay. So I don't know why they got the little right here but you can also i think you can just i just take take this one i'll take this one because the, the design it but you can also erase the design a little um image they had there so there we have it we have our whole image there now okay and then you can also go to edit photo and you can remove background now she has no background here okay but then you can also add a background whatever color you want so i'm gonna go ahead and go to edit photo and I'm going to go to, I'm going to push the background. So make sure you're not in her little space. You move her over and just click the background so, we can, so you can get the background of the page. And then we can go down here and find some some colors. Okay, let's go to the gradient. That's pretty, y'all. So you have to move her to make her fit there. And there she is. Isn't that nice? Make it bigger. And there you have another a whole other photo. Okay, let's delete this and try something different. Let's go to this one spread her out okay we just right now y'all we just editing some different pictures i got this off of um ai too i just basically said um give me a woman in front of a fireplace black african-american woman then in front of a fireplace with a sky in front of a sky view okay so this is what they gave me it, and then what i want to do maybe i don't want the fireplace anymore so i'm gonna go back to edit photo magic erase you know, then this is how big your the circle is the big how big your um erase is going to be so i'm just going to go ahead and erase it Okay, there we go right here. No more fireplace. Give it a minute to work out. This is wonderful, y'all. I mean, you can always have so many different images that you have that you probably um have people in there in the, in the photos. Instead of erasing the whole background, you could just erase the people's faces in the photos. Okay. It's a very good um app to use. So now it's gone. Okay. What if I wanted um to extend extend this table? Like this table is halfway here. Let me go ahead and push edit photo. Let me go to um magic expand. I'm gonna say whole page and expand. Now look at the table now and look at how it's gonna be after um we expand it. Give it a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, I mean. Hey, look at that. You got a whole table and chairs, okay? <laughs> this is so nice. And I like that. That view is much better. It, is, it even extended the view. Check out the other ones. That's okay. I don't know what that is. I can't really see my... Okay, that's okay. I like this one. You got a full table, y'all. Okay? So this is the one I like. So I'm going to go ahead and push done. And there's my image. It's It's done, okay? So let's go ahead and delete. Okay, one thing I want to do about this one. Okay, look at her. What I'm going to do is, what if I want to put my picture in this picture of this nice little view, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Edit Photo. And I'm going to go ahead into um, Magic uh, magic Grab. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Okay, look at what they, they have her. 
in there take her out okay i'm gonna take her i'm gonna throw her over here a little bit this is her so <laughs> i don't want her anymore i could use her again somewhere else i could put her somewhere else if i want to right now i don't want her so i'm gonna go ahead and delete her i'm gonna just push delete and i'm gonna find me myself and i okay find a picture of myself let's go right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this over some because i don't want to mess up this photo while i'm trying to remove the background for this one so i'm gonna go ahead and click that here click on it push edit and remove background blah voila look at that so now i'm gonna put this photo in front of me i mean behind me i'm sorry extend it expand it okay and i'm gonna put myself right here make me a little bigger and there i go y'all there i am look at that isn't that nice now i have uh <laughs> i have me in this luxurious uh nice uh whatever it is a condo whatever it is nice okay so i can go ahead and print this out and put it somewhere i can use make this as a journal i can make it whatever i want to as long as i print it out as a pdf file and i can do whatever i want to do with this photo okay isn't that nice i want to bigger if i want to okay but not too big because table is that small so bring me back on down okay i can do whatever i could put any picture in here okay i can even go let me see if i can find something else i can put in here um look I could be Beyonce right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her background. Edit. Remove background. And there she is. I could put her me next to Beyonce. But I, I get to find a better picture of her. Okay. And put her in there. But I can put her next to me in this photo. Okay. <laughs> Anything goes with Campbell. Okay. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to just get rid of Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I got a full body picture of her. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, let me go ahead and get delete, uh, delete, delete that one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put edit, remove background, and I'm gonna make her a little bit smaller. Still don't have a whole photo of her though, but this is cool for right now. And then I can uh, shrink myself down or make myself, you know, and I can do it. I can do somewhere. Do, do, uh, I can do another image with me and her. Okay, with her full body. And we could be in the same room at the same time. Okay. <laughs> so, ain't that cute? Ain't that nice? Okay, I'm going to delete all this, y'all. And let's go to the next one, y'all. Let's see. So, now I'm going to go to the enhancer. So, what I'm going to do is, it's an app. I'm going to go to the apps. I'm going to click on apps right here. And then there's so many different apps here. You can even put the name in here, right here. Or you can just look through them and see what you want to what you want to use. Okay, all these are apps. I'm going to go through all these apps, y'all. I'm going to pick out a few that I like. The first one is the enhancer. Where is it? Let me just go ahead and print it in here. Is that in here? Enhancer. No, okay, it is. There it is. Okay. So here's the enhancers right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to upload a photo. I'm going to upload this photo and push open. I'm going to go ahead and enhance photo. Takes a couple minutes. Go ahead and please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and push that red bell so you can be notified when I get new videos come. I've been doing videos once a week. I haven't did a live in a while, y'all, but I'm gonna be doing a live soon on um y'all really wanted me to do a live on um sublimating a tumbler. Okay, so I'm gonna do that soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put add design and look at this. This is the design they made. Oh, look at my skin, it's flawless. So let's go back to the um so the one I uploaded, and let's see the difference, y'all. So I go to uploads. Here's a picture right here. Look at that. See how they just basically put foundation on my face? This is the old picture in compared to the new picture. Look at that, y'all. If I can see that, look at that. It just basically they just smooth my face out. Just put some foundation on me, clear me up a little bit, and get all the, the splotches off my face. Look at that. Isn't that nice? So people that wanna, if y'all are photographers and y'all want to just edit y'all photos bring it to canva y'all bring it to canva look at that beautiful okay i'm gonna delete that and let's go to another app and this app is called um let's see which one I want. okay let's try this one it's called um blur let's see is that no is that's a different thing is that in here no, that's somewhere else. I'm gonna try that later, but I'm gonna still stay in the apps at the blue. It's a bluer um in the edit. So let me see. Um, let's try the 
Magic Media. Okay, here it is right here. Magic Media. Click on that. And let's see. You can enter five words to describe something. So let's see. I don't know how many words I'm going to put them to see me. Okay. Black. Woman. Standing. the mountains okay so I'm going to push generate I just say a black woman standing by the mountains but african-american however you want to put it and let's see what they say mm -mm -mm. let's see what they think of this is called magic media and it's an app okay okay so I'm gonna just click on the oh let's see let's see Image may not meet your okay. So if I like this one, I click on it and I expand it. I say, okay, look at that. That's cute. Okay, and if I want to, if I like this one, it's the best one I like. I just go ahead and click on it and I just say generate more like this, and they'll give me more. Okay, that's that was that's nice. Look realistic, and they give you more and, and they pop up more. Okay, so you can do whatever you want. You can add more. You can do. Put these on different things. Let's see how this one look. Just expand it and make it bigger. Okay. It's okay. Okay, so that is called Magic Media. So I'm gonna get off out of this. You can download these too. And let's go to another one. It's called, let's go back to apps and go to QR code. Let's just say, QR? Um, delete that. And push QR. Code generator and then you know basically a QR code is basically if you put a URL in here if I put www.canva.com um, or I can put my website on here on um, my Etsy page I can put whatever I want on here and I just push generate code so right now if you are on your computer and you can if you scan your phone with this right now while I'm sitting while I'm sitting there scan it and it take you to Canva okay this is so wonderful because basically um, you can basically put this on your business cards. You put this on your, um, you can just basically copy this link. I mean, this, this picture, this QR code on your flyers, on your business card, on your shirts. It can be a walk-in URL code. Okay. Somebody scan this on your shirt and they'll take you to your, <laughs> that is, that's dope. I might do that to my, I'll walk around and be like, Oh, um, uh, would you like to know where my business is or what's my website sure just scan my shirt so you can scan the shirt with your code with your phone and they your um website will pop up in their phone okay that is brilliant i think people did that in the past though you just make it big you can make it bigger you can upsize it people scan it with their phone and but voila your your um your business your website shows up okay any you could put any url in uh, right here Okay, and then you update it. You can update it again to something different and then you scan it. But you, but after you print it out, that, that's going to take you whatever you put in here. It's going to take, that's where you're going to take your customers to that um link you put right here. Okay, that is dope. So business cards, you can, you can put it on stickers. You can put it wherever you want. Okay, so that's the QR code app in Canva. Okay, let's do another app. Let's go to app. Let's delete this. Let's go to wave generator wave there you go generator okay so here it is and basically it's basically let me show y'all from the beginning it starts out straight okay you can keep on going okay you can even make it a little sharper keep on going you give it a little make it that way and you keep on going okay but i like it a little curve to it okay so let's go ahead and find out which i like that one okay so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and put add wave and I'm going to go ahead and put it right here on the bottom of my page. Okay, set it down here. I'm going to go to the color. And I'm going to change the color to, let's see, mm, that color right there. Okay. So basically, sometimes you don't want to have, um, you want to hide something or you don't want the, the uh, your page to be like a straight center, a straight edge. I'm sorry, a straight edge. 
So you can use this to just make your picture flow. Okay. So let me go ahead and go to upload. I'm going to find another picture to put in here. How about, hmm, let's see. I'll take him right here. And I'm just going ahead and just take edit photo. And I'm going to just edit back background remover and put him right here. There you go. And I can take this background. I'm click. I'm just clicking the back of here. This is my picture. And then uh, let's start to well. I want. Let's see. I'm gonna change that to something different, something like that, so you can see that background. Let's see. It looks kind of fake, but I'm just trying to give y'all some examples, just so y'all can have something to look at. <laughs> but this is not. I would not do something nothing like this. But let's see. Let's see if I can make that. And you can even make the um. The waves, um, granted, gradient. I'm sorry, that's nice. So, we can make this a solid background. See, look at that, that's nice, too dark. And then make this like a blue color. See, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, so you can make your waves gradient or you can make your background gradient. Okay, all righty, let's see. I already did the Let's do this one. One more. Let's delete. Okay, I can delete that up here. So I'm gonna just do something else. I'm gonna just add another. App. Go to app. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and push. Let's see. There's another one I want to do. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Type gradient. Okay, this is called type gradient. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is put my name here. T H A R M A I N E. And then so it shows you right here my name. Okay. So what I can do is I've centered that right here, and then I'm going to change the color. So I push this button. I make it I like it pink. I make it blue because well, my name is pink. I'm gonna just say pink. Hmm, that's that's cool right there. Okay, you can either um you can change the length, the line height of the gradients. Okay, see how thick it is. Let me show y'all. Okay, so let's so let's then we just take this wand and move it around until you like the colors you want it to be. Okay, have it all purple. Then your other colors come in. I like. Mm, hmm, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. So you can do whatever you want to do. You can do the line height. You can change your back. You can change it to every whatever you want. You can change the colors. You can change the alignment. You can change the font right here. I like the thick font. Okay, so let's try this one. Go back. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to reset the position, and then you can add your design. And voila, there it is. So you make it bigger. And here we go. Okay. So that is called type gradient. It was just right here. You can just type that in. Or like I said, you can just look through the apps. And just look through all the apps. Delete this and look through all the apps. Okay. You search it. Let me see. Apps. You can just type in whatever you want and you can search through it. I don't know why it's I'll tell you. Okay. So let's see what else I have. I want to show y'all. Let's go to um uploads. Oh, that was why I was doing that. Uploads and that's I'm gonna delete all this stuff out of here. Delete all this out of here. And I'm gonna go to let's see what I want to do. Let's put this back up here and go to edit file and let's do grab text. And there we go. We grab the text and it's out of there. Okay. You can also use the magic eraser for this too, but this grab text can be for anything else. You, it's, it's so many things you can use. Like for instance, let me take this one out of here and try a different one. Let's try this one. Like, um, 
you can use a magic eraser for this also, but you can also do use grab check grab text. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this again on this one. Cause it's so much, you know, it's e easier to push a button. The grab text, I mean the um magic eraser, you gotta take that eraser and, and just scribble all over the place when you can just use this, it's simpler. Okay. And you use this one if you want to keep the text. You, you like this um the way the, a lot of people say, where you get this font from? You get this font from. And you don't have if you want this same font. And um and it shows you right here what it is. You can change the font. So uh, that's what it is now. So let's change it to this. And look at that. I'm like, um, we don't like that. That's the reason why we use change, change font instead of using the magic eraser. You can change the font. I mean, the grab, it's called grab text. Okay. But now this is how I want it. I want it like this. I can put it on there. Okay. Change it again to something different. Um, Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. See? And that's how you use the, um, what's it called? Graph. This is the first time I use this one, y'all. <laughs> oh, let me try this out. So I'm trying this uh, right here on the video, okay? So there we have it, y'all. This is nice. And then you just basically print this out. It's there. You can you can group this up too. You can just highlight everything like this. And then you group it. Okay, and now they move with the picture, okay? So um, stand it on business. So you can, if you don't want this there, you can you can take it out and you can put your business name on here. You can like mine is Charming Girl Boutique or something like that, or you can put your name. You can grab that text out of there and put your own text there and change the font. Okay, and, and it's that's fun because it's crazy because they show you the, the type of font the font it is. Okay, so that was cool. I didn't know that either. So it tells you what type of font it is, so you can know that font and you can go use that font again. Okay, if it comes up in Canva. Okay, I was looking at that because look at this, y'all. I'm going to show y'all one more thing right here. I'm going to delete this. Okay. So look right here. I have this Stiller Girls right here, right? Let's see if it's going to pick up all these letters. I'm going to go ahead and edit, and I'm going to grab text. Let's look if I don't want the words there. I just, want the, I, want, I just want the girl. The girl is there. She's pretty. I want to use her, and I don't want to put the words on there. Okay, so look. There we go. It, it took it out. Look at that. That is cool, y'all. And then right here, it still had that little little mess there. So what you did go now, you just go ahead and basically you could use the eraser for the whole thing too. But um, look at this. It's tell you what font this is though. See that girl? That's the font the girl the, the that font is. Okay, so that's good to know too. And here's the font for this. Okay, it tells you the name of the fonts. So that's sweet. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. Delete that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go still go click on the picture so we can go to edit photos, and then I'm gonna go to uh magic eraser so you can just get all this stuff from out here okay or you can go to move, or remove background it don't matter canva is the bomb y'all canva is the bomb you can do so much with your business you can make your business cards you can make your flyers and you can go on youtube or if, or you can go on um you can go on uh what's google and find pictures that you be like oh okay i need this i need that and you can take out images and you can take the person it's just so much you could do with canva those are some really good techniques to um re let me show you all one more time we just went over today so i just showed you how to use remove background the magic eraser the magic expand and the magic grab and the magic text okay so here's my picture right here right and i'm gonna blur it let me see i'm gonna edit and I'm gonna go to what is that? Oh, blue right here. So they give you a brush, or let's say let's see whole whole image and see what it does. And then it just basically intense it. See if you want to blur it out, or you want to you might want to just blur the background. So let me go ahead and show you how to blur the black blur the background, the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I can just show you how the trees is how they're gonna look in the like in the background. I'm gonna just do do one side. Sorry, I'm over here stuttering. What is wrong with me? Am I tired? <laughs> okay, so we we'll just try this side first and see how it looks. So you can see the difference between this side and the other side, okay? Let's go ahead. I just uh, released it, and that's how it looks. So if you want the, the um, background to be blurred, like if you have something in the background, like you don't want to see, that's how you do it. So you can blur your background out, okay? A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that in different kind of um, photos and stuff. They like to do that. But I'd rather keep it like that because this, this is a regular photo. I just a photographer did this picture for me, so that's why it looks so nice. So, um, but you can also blur it out if you want to. Let me see how it looks when you blur out the the water. Oh, I mean to get my shirt, but let's see. 
Okay, so look at just like it's just not it just disappearing a little bit or farther in the background. Okay, they don't look right because you really want your pictures to be crisp. So, okay, so all right, you can also you, you can change the um, brush size right here, and you can also change the intensity of the blur. Let's go all the way to here and see how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna just see how that looks. Nope, nope. See, it takes it all out, okay? <laughs> and that's and then we can if y'all want none of that back there, let's go ahead and see how it's gonna look when we say remove the background. Yep, so remove the tree. So there we go. We have the um background removed. And you can also add something else. You can add it, you can put anything else you want in this photo. But I just wanted to show you that it will remove everything. Okay. But again, I'm gonna show you one more time, one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And I'm going to use edit photo and I'm going to magic grab. Take me out. Look at that. So you can use the background for something else. Okay. Or you can use my the picture I just threw out of there. I can, I can use that for something, put me somewhere else too. So this magic this is a nice photo, y'all. This is a nice photo. You can put, you can, <laughs> I, I, like you out of town or something put you you put your body right in here I'm like oh i just enjoyed my vacation <laughs> this is funny but i did this when i was in what was i in new york i think yeah so isn't that pretty okay so that is the end of this video y'all please check out my etsy page charming girl boutique on etsy um or red sunshine on etsy my instagram my tiktok um, I have a lot of different TikTok videos that I've been doing lately. So check the TikTok video and please subscribe to my TikTok and my Etsy. I mean, my TikTok, my Instagram. And check out Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica has a lot of different images on there that I like. Check out the link below um, so you can get a deal, a discount. And also, check me out on Facebook. Charming Girl, I'm, I'm sorry. Check me out on Facebook. Brown Girls Craft for Cricket. It's our group page, okay? Our Facebook page. Until next time, be blessed. Thanks for watching.